Now at 11, the federal government back in business. A live look at Capitol Hill. The lights on, the bills being paid, but the deal is temporary. And the unplanned vacation is over for more than 800,000 federal employees. The government's website making it crystal clear open on Tuesday. And just in from the White House, the picture proving it is official. President Trump signing the bill that ends the three day government shutdown. Democrats trying to force Republicans into helping the so called dreamers. That did not happen. And so while the government may now be open, there is no closure yet for so many people. The A's are 81, the A's are 18. The grand bargain, a bill to fund the government for two and a half weeks and a promise from the Republican leader that he will allow debate and a vote on a bill protecting the dreamers, young adults brought to the U.S. illegally as kids. But for the 700,000 or so who fall into that category and are now facing deportation, a promise is not enough. I feel um, very uncertain for my future. Augustina came here from Argentina when she was one. She's a senior in high school now, and she says she does not want to lose her legal protections. I don't want it to be taken away because I do work and I do study as a normal student should and as a normal person should. And I feel as if I deserve to still be here. In the House, local Republican lawmaker Carlos Curbelo voted in favor of reopening the government, even though he'd said he wouldn't unless it included protections for the Dreamers. Both Florida senators voted to end the shutdown. Politically, Republicans claimed victory. In my mind, they, they got nothing to show for that. Closed today due to the government shutdown. But some Democrats think they made out okay. There's no way the Democrats caved. I think the Democrats got a better deal than people expected. Four congressional leaders will now have 17 days to hash out a plan for the Dreamers, something polls show almost 90 percent of the country wants. We've been in a meeting every single day. We're working towards it. We're making progress. But this is Washington, and, well... There's a history around here of people screwing up immigration on both sides. And Congress is providing back pay to all those furloughed federal workers. The funding bill that passed today also took care of a big Democratic priority, reinstating the Children's Health Insurance Program, or CHIP, for six more years.